This scene is filmed by Spanish police. Officers of the anti-drug unit arrested a man and searched his home. In Spain, France, Belgium, and the Netherlands, similar arrests took place in the middle of the night and were full of surprises. Expensive cars, trendy motorcycles, and most importantly, dozens of passports. Those arrested are suspected of belonging to a huge drug network that is raging in Europe. What is important here is that the global cocaine trade is organized by huge networks working together, hand in glove. So it's not one group against the other anymore, which makes it extremely dangerous. And they have their kingpins sitting outside the European Union uh, jurisdiction. So to approach them, to arrest them, to investigate them, you have to cooperate with the jurisdiction outside the EU. Over 30 tons of drugs were seized during Operation Desert Light, coordinated by Europol, the European police office. This super cartel controls about a third of the cocaine trade in Europe. One of the suspects is a very big fish of the drug trade. Police tracked down the network by deciphering data from an encrypted messaging system. Out of the 49 arrests, six took place in Dubai, of which several would be ringleaders. The drugs transited through South America, hidden in containers of food, and arrived mainly in the ports of Rotterdam and Antwerp. According to the latest estimates, Belgium alone should break a record in 2022 with more than 100 tons of cocaine seized in the country.